Just what does a transistor do in most circuits? Here's an NPN transistor diagram. And as you can see, it's got three parts, the emitter, base, and collector. Okay, I'm going to check out a transistor to use. Use this one right here. There's the flat side up there, and I'm going to check it out. Let's see, turn that on. And now, this is going to tell me what the leads are from left to right. But first, you know, what uh, transistor it is. It's an NPN B or CBE, and the beta is about 150. Okay, we'll use this transistor here. Let me double check the leads again. Okay, CBE. Here is the circuit I made, and this is the diagram for that circuit. And here is the common point for a couple of meters that I'm going to use to monitor what's going on in this circuit. The left meter is going to be here at the base of the transistor, and the right meter is going to be on the collector of the transistor. And what we're going to do is take a close look and see what this transistor is doing in this circuit. Okay, here's the setup. You can see the D batteries here. We got six volts there. And I've got two meters. This meter right here is monitoring the collector voltage and which is almost 6 volts. This is monitoring the base voltage which is about 10 millivolts. Okay, and here's the setup. There's the lead to the from the collector to the meter. There's 33K, 1K, 100K, and these are two 150 ohm resistors. And there's the base lead to the meter. Okay, here are the two meters. The one on the left is monitoring the base and it's in millivolts right now. The one on the right is monitoring the collector, and it's in volts, and you can see it's almost 6 volts. Now I'm going to turn that variable resistor, increasing the millivolts on the left. millivolts okay now we're at almost dot six volts on the base and we've got four volts on the collector now increase voltage on the base a little bit more. Now we got dot six volts on the base and almost no volts now on the collector. Dot zero six volts. So what that means is that transistor has gone into saturation. Even when 
I increase it a little bit more, that transistor cannot conduct any more. Those two meters are showing us that at the beginning, when there was 10 millivolts on the base, the resistance between E and C was very high, so that means that there was almost 6 volts on the collector. And when I increased the base voltage to dot 7 volts, there was almost no voltage at the collector, which means that between E and C, it's almost a direct short. So it's acting like a switch in this circuit. And it's right at dot five volts is when things start happening. On the base. There we go. A little bit more. What both those meters have shown is that a very small change in voltage on the base makes a very large change in the current through the transistor. Now I know most of you are interested in audio amplifiers and not in circuits that make the transistor switch on and off, but take a look at the load resistor on the collector. The one I used was 33K, slightly more. And if we take a look at this audio amplifier, take a look at the load resistance in this circuit. It looks to be somewhere between 6 and 8 ohms. So the load resistor or resistance has a large influence as to how that transistor operates. Now, of course, everything is important, but the load resistor has a very large influence.